Um, Tropical Storm Hermine has 1,001 millibars and is moving north-northeast. So sort of like what the current GFS model is saying, but a little further to the east than anticipated. So it's saying 996. So I think it is going to go a little further north than you anticipated. And that means New York City could get slightly worse weather than anticipated. But if it decides, you know, to go further north, like say it takes a jog back towards the north, maybe even to the west, then we'll be fine. We'll have to see what will happen at the 11 a.m. p.m. advisory. Uh, however, satellite is showing um, satellite is showing that the storm, the center of the swirl, is moving, trying to move further north and eastward. It might even say it might be in this area. So if it decides to go like in this area, quickly cross an Atlantic, then we might get a pretty bad storm. And I'll show you what the GFS is forecasting for New York City, and it ain't pretty either. Um, and it shows something crazy that I did not anticipate at all. Even though the ensembles picked it up, I did not anticipate it. So this is the same run, just showing the mid-Atlantic area. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, here's a storm. Coming in, thousand millibar storm, bombing out, bringing wind and rain to New York City. There's a lot of rain here. You see, that's just rain cooled air. Sort of like Sandy. This is a miniature version of Sandy, basically a much weaker version of Sandy. Basically, just a nor'easter. It's going to go out to sea briefly. There's still high pressure system to the north, and guess what? It's going to try to come back. But then there'll be a cold front that will finally shove the system out. I'm going to show you the Atlantic as a whole. And that's what's left of uh, Hermine in a, in a, on September 15th. In about 15 days, 16 days. And this model is showing a strong tropical storm here, and then going extra tropical. So it could be an extra tropical storm that will become tropical, then go, you know, it's kind of a complicated system. Another good model to look at is a long range model, is the CFS CFSV2. This model is showing a pretty bad storm. I'll show you what I mean. Yep. This model is showing something similar. Let's, I'm going to look at the European model right now because I've not looked at that earlier today. The European model shows... Wow, yeah, that looks bad. The European model shows a hurricane just, just pummeling right off the coast of New York City. Okay, this looks bad. Okay. I'm going to look at Monday. It's going to give it worse. Yeah. Look at that. Bad storm right off the coast. And look. Yeah, the European model is showing the storm. Something crazy. Not as bad as the midnight run. I mean, not as actually worse than the midnight run. The midnight run so he shows a crazy storm, but further out to sea. This model is showing a worst case scenario. Because now that the storm is much further east, this model is basically showing that the storm is going to go north, but now it's going further northeast, so it might come ashore here, not over here. So this means this storm could be a little further east. This means this storm could be stronger. So when it does decide to, this could be a 990 millibar storm. This could be even stronger than anticipated. So we could get a pretty bad storm. 
I'm going to see what the midnight run says, but it looks like we're going to get a pretty bad storm. Thank you for watching. Bye.